So whether you're doing five, 10, 20, 30, 50, $100,000 a month in your high ticket business, whether that's agency, coaching, consulting, if you just have, let's say a 20% close rate and you boost it to even only 30%, even though you can exceed 40%, let's say you get up to 30%, that's a 50% increase in your entire business. 10 grand a month becomes 15, 20 becomes 30, 30 becomes 45, 50 becomes 75, and 100 becomes 150, just by simply increasing your close rate. Now, if you're newer, you probably have more problems with your close rate and there's even more room for growth. But I actually found a new way where you can use Fathom and ChatGPT together to do sales call reviews for you to help you increase your close rate as well as how you can use ChatGPT to practice role plays and practice new sections of your script, including asking uncomfortable questions so that when you get on your calls, everything's easy, everything's smooth, and it's like you've taken a million sales calls without having to pay for or do outreach to get any of them, right? So it's just free unlimited practice to get you so much better at sales so fast. So there are some problems that come with this. There's some things you need to look out for. So I'm gonna share those in this video, but I'm gonna jump onto my computer and show you how to do this. Um, out the gate, what I would recommend, first we're gonna talk about the call reviews. Um, Cause I, the more call reviews you do, the better, uh, which is just a really good thing that you can do in general. Um, but what you can do is I recommend using Fathom to record all of your calls. Now it does have a cost. I don't, oh, free, oh it doesn't have a cost. Okay, true, interesting. Um, <laughs> but, uh, Anyway, there you go. So you attach it to your Zoom, it'll join all your meetings, record and transcribe your meetings. On the Fathom link, um, you can just click, there's a download document button. So it has like a Google Doc uh, type button. It'll give you a document. If you have paid ChatGPT, you can literally just upload the entire transcript. If you don't have paid ChatGPT, um, there's a limit to how many characters you can paste in. Uh, so you have to just do sections of your call. I'd recommend doing sections of your call anyway and focusing on one variable at a time, like digging deep into the pain and making sure you master that. Once you've mastered that, you master digging deep into the desire, right? And asking other specific types of skilled questions, pitching, uh, you know, tying down at the end, objection handling, isolating, closing, whatever. Um, but the discoveries are, are real, like the most important part of the entire call, literally. So that's the number one place to focus that I'd recommend. So. Um, then you can just go to ChatGPT. So again, if you're if you don't have paid ChatGPT, you do have to just paste um, a chunk of the call. And Fathom will easily like it'll give you speakers and everything, like who's saying what. Um, and then you just simply prompt Chat ChatGPT with, "Hey, this is a sales call uh, uh, of mine. Here's the discovery portion. Um, what I'm focusing on right now is digging deeper into the pain. How did I do? And what would you recommend I do better?" Uh, you know, am I digging deep enough? Questions like these, right? Um, if you're focused on uh, the pain. And then uh, what chat will do is it'll give you a response. It'll say, hey, you're not digging deep enough. You did this well, but you didn't do this well enough, right? And chat GPT is good for getting you the fundamentals. Is it going to give you a masterful sales script that works in one specific industry and all that? No, you really, really, chat GPT is a tool. You really have to know how to use it um, it's like any other kind of uh, like tool, right? Like Facebook ads is a tool. If you don't know how to write copyright and write ads and all that, uh, you're not, it's not going to serve you very well, right? You're just going to waste money. So in this case, we need to make sure we're asking it the right questions, giving it the right information and context, etc. One crazy thing that you can do is you can upload full documents of any sales training that you have and upload them into ChatGPT and then ask it to look at, look through the lens of this training and, um, make sure that you're following that training properly and asking you know questions within that context or using that framework correctly um, and all that, right? So um, you can use this for setting the stage at the beginning of the call, right? You can, you can literally just, if you upload a, a full transcription, you have paid chat GPT, you can be like, tell me everything I did wrong in this call and it'll probably give you like 50 things. But setting the stage is the most first most important thing uh, then discovery as well, right? If you don't set the stage, discovery just becomes a mess. So setting the stage is really, it's important, it's crucial. Um, so setting the stage being like, hey, you know, the start of the call saying, hey, just wanna ask you some questions, whatever, right? I'd also recommend, um, I haven't tested this myself um, because my tonality is very good, but I'd also recommend you ask it, how's my tonality? Do I sound salesy? Do I sound unprofessional? Do I sound confident? How can I improve my tonality? Um, because then, I mean, it's a consultant, right? Um, it, it knows quite a bit. Um, you need to know how to use it and how to ask the questions. And again, it's not perfect and it doesn't have all the answers, but it 
considering you know the bulk of people in here trying to get to their first 10 20 30k a month kind of thing um, it's going to be helpful for you so i'd still recommend watching your calls over um, but working through reviews with chat is great now let's say you find that you know you're not digging the pain deep enough right now what you can do is you can make another chat um, and what you can do in this other chat is say, hey, I want to focus on making sure I'm digging the pain deep enough um, during this section of the call, right? You recommended I ask questions like this, and you'll really want to work at it and find how can we reword these questions to sound good and roll off the tongue. So you'll want to read that, read those questions it recommends to you out loud a lot, run them by me, etc. cetera. Um, and then you can um, uh, bake those into your script and then just be like, hey chat, I'm gonna do a role play. And then you wanna give a ton of context on your prospects, right? Um, it, like I'm talking, you know, five minutes of writing if you're using the, the iPhone app, um, which I recommend doing for this, cause that's where you can call. So in the bottom right of a chat, there's a little like audio button. There's a microphone button to do uh, voice to text. Their voice to text is really good uh, for chat. So for the voice to text, that's where you can just talk for five minutes and give it a ton of context on who you're selling to, what they've tried, how much revenue they're making, you know, your whole ideal client situation, um, the problems they generally face, the desires they typically have, um, this kind of thing. Five minutes, just tell it everything. Um, then when you send that, you can just say, hey, I'm gonna do a role play with you. I want you to go easy on me is a good place to start. So that way you can test asking increasingly difficult or challenging or uncomfortable questions. Um, go easy on me. I'm just going to run through this one portion of the call. And when I interrupt you, um, what's when I interrupt you and say it's done, that's where I'm going to be curious to know how you think I did or what improvements you'd recommend that I make based on that little chunk of the call that we're doing. So I'm not going to start at the beginning of the call. I'm going to start at this one part where I ask for the first pain question. And then I'll tell you when we're done and ask for a review there. Sound good, it'll go, sounds good. And, and that's where you click beside the microphone button, you click the call button. There's like a little, uh, a little button for you to actually start a voice call with chat on speaker uh, on your phone. Then when you start that call, uh, it'll, it'll say to you in the chat, like, sure, just start the call and ask that first question whenever you want. You, you start the call, you ask that first question, and now it's role playing with you and answering your questions. And it's gonna open up and be the easiest prospect you've ever had, right? Cause that's what you're asking it to do. Um, then you roll through your script and you say, okay, now we're done. Um, uh, what do you think I could have done better there? Do you think I dug deep enough into the pain? And then it'll say, here's what I think you did well. Here's what I think you could have improved on. Again, you can ask it tonality questions, etc. And then it also keeps the, the, tra the, it also transcribes the entire chat that you're having with it live on that call and keeps it in the chat. So you can go back and read what it said in terms of recommendations. So you don't have to like scramble the right things down when it gives you suggestions. Um, so again, fair warning, like chat's not perfect. It's not the be all end all. It's a tool and uh, it's a tool that we want to use again, just to get, it has the fundamentals of sales pretty well understood. It has the fundamentals of sales pretty well understood. Um, sometimes it might give you suggestions that are incorrect or not good. So it might say, hey, ask a question like this. You might go, mm, my market's pretty sophisticated and I don't think that would work, right? And, and I did that with it and it was like, oh, okay, if your market's more sophisticated, you know, here are some other ways that you can potentially play with that question and get it through, right? Ideally, you know, you, you have some other kind of sales training resource to give you stuff that's more applicable to your specific niche or industry or our industry that is this whole internet marketing agency space, et cetera. Um, but then, yeah, so that's how you can um, do call reviews with chat as well as role plays with chat. Um, so very cool stuff, uh, very good, strongly recommend. You can do it for free. Uh, you just have to keep like kind of deleting chats and all that stuff. I'd still recommend making even a free account but you have a limited bandwidth and everything. So in, that's why I'm in incognito mode, just for the sake of this example, to tell you that you can just open up a new incognito thing, paste a chunk of your script and ask it for feedback. Um, but you need an iPhone or, or you need a, a mobile app in order to have those live calls and do the role plays. Um, again, still watch your calls, watch one to two calls a week kind of thing and improve on those and see what you could do better. Um, but this is gonna guide you uh, very much so in the right direction help you get more emotional with people and everything like that. But yeah, thought this was really cool, wanted to share it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's all.
So that's how you do it. Now, the thing is, um, oftentimes just getting more leads is simply the solution to growing your business. Um, and at the same time, you still need to make sure that you're working with somebody and getting the right tips and advice from your industry. If you want to work with me closer, uh, if you don't know who I am, I've scaled my agency to just shy of about 80 grand a month, done over 150K in sales in my best month. Um, that being said, if you do want to work with me closer, um, you can book a call with me in the description, but otherwise uh, click whatever's popping up on screen here and I'll see you there.